Hello, today I am going to talk on scleritis. Think a patient came to you with red, painful eye, maybe unilateral or bilateral, with some sort of visual impairment like dimness of vision or blurring of vision or maybe total blindness. What will you think? Red eye, very important. Both the eye are red and painful red eye with visual impairment. So at first you have to think some sort of cause. So what are the cause? So there are so many cause which are shown on the screen. You may note down there uh, with pause of this video. So uh, the important cause among them is scleritis. I am going to talk on scleritis over the next few minutes. Inflammation of sclera is called scleritis, you know. So at first, uh, here is the anatomical representation of our eye for our easy uh, understanding. This is the sclera, the outer coat of our eyeball is called sclera and the anterior portion, this is the anterior portion of the outer coat is called cornea. So cornea is the anterior part of the sclera but find it the cornea is very transparent as it, it is transparent so light can cross through it but it has some uh, function in the refraction. On the other hand sclera is not transparent it is composed of connective tissue heavy connective tissue and this sclera actually support uh, by its connective tissue our eyeball. So if inflammation here that is scleritis it may damage the nerve supply or blood supply of the inner structure leading to visual impairment and maybe total blindness it may cause. So very important uh, disease or entity we should know it better and should manage it promptly. This is not uncommon disease and it is uh, slightly more common in female, uh, female is to male ratio it is 1.6 is to 1 slightly more in female and it is usually bilateral very uncommonly you may find it unilaterally. Now, what are the pathology behind this scleritis? Actually, the inflammation of this sclera, inflammation of this sclera. So, any inflammation causes infiltration of the cell, and here the infiltrative cell are usually chronic, and maybe acute inflammatory cell like neutrophil may come here. So, these uh, inflammatory cell causes a cellular damage. The, as the sclera is consists of collagen tissue, so destruction of collagen tissue occurs. So this is the pathology, inflammation of the sclera. Now, what are the classification or types or cause? Anterior scleritis and posterior scleritis, this classi classification is based on the anatomical background. Actually, the posterior scleritis is very less commonly found. And we have uh, nothing to do with scleritis, posterior scleritis and posterior scleritis is idiopathic. So come to the main point, anterior scleritis. This is the most commonly found scleritis and the anterior scleritis is of two types on the background of histology. Number one, necrotizing and number two, non-necrotizing. What do you mean by this? Necrotizing scleritis means there is uh, some sort of necrosis are present on the background of inflammation and in case of non-necrotizing there is no necrosis on the background of inflammation and the main cause of necrotizing scleritis is vasculitis. On the other hand non-necrotizing scleritis there are so many cause or may not be any cause that is idiopathic. It may be idiopathic or there may be several causes uh, among which the rheumatoid arthritis is the number one and most important cause actually the rheumatoid arthritis is the main cause of scleritis. So there are so many uh, autoimmune cause of non-necrotizing scleritis like rheumatoid arthritis, ASLE, ankylosing spondylitis and PAN, PAN means polyarthritis nodosa polyarteritis nodosa and GPA. GPA means granulomatosis with polyanxieties. That means granulomatosis means formation of granuloma with inflammation of anxieties means uh, inflammation of small vessels and poly means uh, more than one. So granulomatosis formation of granuloma with 
multiple vessel inflammation it is one type of a small vessel disease and previously it was known as wg that means wegner's granulomatosis wg so these are the cause of uh, enteroscleritis or scleritis as a whole now what are the clinical features with which the patient may present to you as is, as i said the number one uh, presentation may be red eye may be unilateral or bilateral this is the most common presentation of scleritis with some sort of pain maybe uh, mild moderate or severe pain pain actually on the movement of eye and tenderness may be present and the pain radiate to jaw face head and sometimes neck due to same neurological innervation and most importantly the visual impairment visual impairment may be blurring of vision just dimness of vision and patient may present with photophobia that means increased sensitivity to light okay so these are the clinical features with which patient may present to you among which the most important is i repeat again red eye pain and visual impairment so these three most important clinical features of scleritis now how will you examine this patient this patient should be examined ophthalmologically with slit lamp examination what is slit lamp examination slit lamp is uh, a special type of microscope by who is the ophthalmologist uh, examine the eye and the doctor should go for systemic examination to find out the underlying cause if any such as rheumatoid arthritis sle or spa or so on the most important uh, point here how will you treat this patient at first to relieve the pain nsaids like ibuprofen and glucocorticoid if the symptoms are mild then topical uh, glucocorticoid like eye drop may be enough but usually systemic glucocorticoid in the form of oral tablet or injectable form may be needed and sometimes it is so severe like vasculitis or sle or severe rheumatoid arthritis and so on uh, immunosuppressive agent may be needed so glucocorticoid steroid is the main uh, treatment here now what are the complication the scleritis may invite for the patient the scleromalacia scleromalacia means malacia means uh, thinning of the sclera due to uh, long term progressive and gradual destruction of uh, connective tissue of sclera may cause the thinning of sclera and due to thinning of the sclera the underlying uh, middle layer that is the choroid which is blue in color may be seen so this is called scleromalacia then retinal detachment retinal detachment and angle closure glaucoma due to chronic inflammatory process the angle through which the aqueous humor is absorbed become obstructed so angle closure glaucoma may be developed now the prognosis prognosis uh, in shortly uh, it may be good or bad and this prognosis is good or bad that all depends on the underlying cause if there is no cause then the prognosis may be good and if there is a so severe cause like a vasculitis or sle or so on then it may de develop into total blindness so everything that depends on the underlying cause so early diagnosis and early proper treatment should be ensured so all these uh, about scleritis so thank you thank you for your kind watching